Shalom brothers and sisters and welcome to another video on Brother Jedaniah and all praises goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Brothers and sisters, there has been much infiltration into the Hebrew awakening and there has been misunderstanding coming out of those Sunday worshiping assemblies and some things that y'all think just belong to them but you got to remember this stuff belonged to us first and the narrative that was given was twisted but it all came from us first Zion 12 tribes scattered around the world it came from us first and we had to return back to our narrative that was given to us by the Heavenly Father, brothers and sisters. Now, I want to go over some more scriptures that proves that, yes, Yahusha did exist before, brothers and sisters, before his conception by Mary. So, you literally have to throw out the whole New Testament and even some of the old if you believe that narrative. And therefore, you're throwing out the Word made flesh. You're throwing out the Most High's Word that was given to Yahusha and given to Moses to give to us and other priests high priest, brothers and sisters, and prophets. You got to throw out so much by just saying and believing that the Messiah didn't exist prior to his conception with Mary. So right here in First John chapter 1, right away, we read that that which was from the beginning, which we had heard, which we have seen with our own eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? The word was made flesh. It was there in the beginning. And they have seen and heard. You have to throw out even John. You have to throw out Peter. You have to throw all these people out because you chose to believe in something you heard from some other man preaching and teaching on YouTube or somewhere else. Or maybe you heard it from a spirit that wasn't of the Most High. And you believe that spirit rather than testing it with the word itself. Verse 2. For the life was manifested and we have seen it. And bear witness and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father. And was manifested unto us. Wow. That which we have seen. And heard. Declared we unto you. That you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the father. And with his son. Yahusha HaMashiach. That which was from the beginning. That means the son was with the father. And remember, these three are one. These three are one. For there are three that bear record in Shammai, the father, the word, and the Kodesh spirit. And these three are one. You have to have spiritual eyes to see and understand this you can't go on the flesh and flesh thoughts and flesh mind and flesh wisdom and flesh knowledge and information this has to come from Yah himself he has to give you his spirit his Kodesh spirit that you may see and understand who and what this is right here and he explains it he reveals it to his Kodeshim the true Kodashim of the Most High. 
Let's go into some more things right here. This is John 1 to 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his esteem, the esteem as of the only begotten of the Father, full of esteem, was full of mercy and truth. Y'all hear this? The word was made flesh. The word was with the Father before the conception. Right here, John 1 and 18. No man have seen Yah at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. Wow. No one has seen him except for the Son. The Son is declaring him. He's the express image of the Father. Colossians 1 and 15. He is the image of the invisible Yah. The firstborn over all creation. He's the firstborn over, over all creation. He was there at the beginning, y'all. He's the begotten of the Father over all creation. He didn't just exist at the time of Mary's conception, brothers and sisters. And he definitely wasn't born of Joseph. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Hold up. From now on, you see, if you know the father, which a lot of these people are claiming, the father only. I know the father. It was just him. It was, if you had known his father, and from now on, wait a minute, if you had known me, if you had known Yahusha, you would have known my father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. You got to have the spirit of the Most High to understand this. He have, he who has seen me has seen the father. Now, all of you got to throw out the book of John. Because your understanding is flawed and you don't know the Father. You don't know the Son. Therefore, you, you cannot accept the Father without accepting His Word made flesh, y'all. You, you can't just sit there and say, oh, it's the Father. You will be led by other spirits and they will lead you astray to your damnation. If you don't accept what the Father has put in the Son to reveal to all of us. This comes from John fourteen seven and verse 9. Chapter 14, verses 7 and 9. Right here, Colossians 2 and 9 says, For and 1 Timothy 3 and 16, For in him dwells all the fullness of Yahid bodily, and without controversy, great is the mysteries of Yahliness. Yah was manifested in the flesh. Hold up. Hold up. Let's just pause for a minute. For all of you out there that was saying this ain't the Most High that came down from above. This is what the Most High told me in 2013. He told me in my spirit. I heard him. I didn't hear him audibly, but he spoke in my spirit. And he said, he told me that was him who came down. He told me in my spirit that it was him. That's when I fell in love with him because he came down and gave his life for his, his children. He fulfilled the prophecies that he spoke of that he would fulfill, that he would be our savior. But he had to come down in a lesser form. And of course he would come down and dwell amongst all this evil. He going to send a piece of himself, which was the word lowered enough to be born of a virgin Mary, that that man, as a man, he would be able to die and shed that blood and that water that on the third day he would be risen and then rise up to the Heavenly Father and be accepted as a wave offering before his throne. He was accepted. And therefore, the true freedom of the Most High was, was given at that moment to all of us who believe. 
and it set us free from sin and death. That's the true freedom, brothers and sisters, according to scriptures. It's being set free from sin and death. And so Yah was manifesting in the flesh. You have to throw out Colossians now. All of you are saying, stating all these things. Go ahead and rip out the New Testament and throw it in the trash because you aren't believing. You're not true believers and believing what was stated right here, clear in the flesh and before, before your flesh eyes that your spirit may understand and see. Justified in the spirit, seen by messengers, preached among the Gentiles, believed on in the world, or preached among the nations, believed on in the world, received up in esteem. That's talking about Yahushua, y'all. Yah was manifesting in the flesh. Yahushua. So all of you sitting there saying, no, no, no. Throw, throw, throw your New Testament out. Now you even got to throw this out. Rip out Micah. Micah 5 and 2. But thou, Bethlehem Ephrathah, thou, thou, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Yahshirah, whose goings forth have been from old. Wait a minute. Yahusha is from old, y'all. From everlasting, hold up. Throw out the book of Micah, all of you who are saying it was only Yahuwah. You're not understanding that the three are one. You, you want to think with your flesh mind and your flesh understanding in 2D or 3D or whatever. You cannot understand that he can be in any one of us, including his son begotten of himself and his son was directly begotten of him not not just born of a of mary but his son was begotten of him and he came he went down into mary that he may give his life so right here we know we're talking about the messiah right here right then it goes on to say whose goings forth have been from old from everlasting, this goes right along with before Abraham was, I am. And what we read in Revelations chapter 1, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You hear what I'm saying? And this is Hebrews 1, 1 through 3. Yah, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Wait a minute. If he didn't exist, y'all, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. I can't get this thing to highlight. Here we go. He made the worlds by his son and he didn't exist before the conception who being the brightness of his esteem and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins set down on the right hand of the majesty on high hebrews 1 1 through 3 y'all go study these here there's much more scriptures that prove who the son was and he existed before but again you have to throw out hebrews as well like i said rip out micah rip out the new testament completely and there's other books you're gonna have to rip out too for your lack of faith and belief in what the father has said through his prophets and through his disciples who seen the messiah walking on earth you're gonna have to rip everything out brothers and sisters and I hope I made this clear to y'all who the son is in Yahuwah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. And if you agree with me, say hallelujah. Hallelujah in the comment section, brothers and sisters. Shalom.